Today we're going to talk about how to correct an edge to edge bite. And what an edge to edge bite means is when the top teeth and the bottom teeth come in like this, as opposed to the front teeth, the upper teeth being in front. So we have a case that uh, presented with an edge to edge bite where he felt like he was always biting on his front teeth. And you can see over here exactly what I'm referring to. These teeth were touching and none of these other teeth were touching. So let's move on to the next projection so that you're able to appreciate what I'm talking about. The top and the bottom teeth are almost in one plane where the top teeth actually need to be in a greater plane than the bottom teeth. The purpose of this is to give you function of biting and eating speaking as well as giving you lip support. So if we were to go back to this, you are actually be able to appreciate that he doesn't have much lip support over here. This is kind of flat. And so what we're gonna do with porcelain veneers is we're gonna build out that area. The front teeth are gonna go wider, longer, and more up front. So when I have the consultation, I was able to express and show what I wanted to do with those teeth. Here you're able to see I went much longer, all right, all around, making them wider, longer and giving him more tooth because when he speaks prior to the veneer process he didn't show much tooth structure so we wanted to give him more tooth structure more lip support and more importantly function where it was the teeth in the right position so the next photo is actually really cool what i love to do often is show the patient where we are and where we're going to go and that's exactly what happened here i was able to take off half of the temporaries or sorry half of the smile preview to show him where his smile is going to go. Um, so you can see this is his original smaller little teeth and this is the built out version of where his smile needs to go. This also allows me to communicate with my ceramist where the smile needs to go in preparation for the veneer delivery and the veneer uh, design. Because we're going wider longer and a little more uh, thickness, this is a minimally prepped case. So he essentially doesn't need much tooth reduction because we have the end goal in mind. That's the most important thing about porcelain veneers, is knowing where we're going before we start cutting the tooth. And so if you're able to appreciate all of these factors that I'm discussing, let's move on to the next photo, which is the after photo of what I call jumping the bite. So we went from having him bite edge to edge to now having a functional, aesthetic, and uh, correct type of bite with also giving him lip support. Please understand, look at how much more lip support he has up here. He's got, it just looks like he has a more fuller lip because lips are made out of elastin and they're just like a rubber band. So if you create more width and more support, that rubber band will just be tighter, therefore having more lip support. And now look at the side view of that smile. You're able to see how we've created what it's called an over jet, a little bit of the upper teeth overlaying the bottom teeth, therefore giving him function, um, aesthetics, and more importantly, uh, the look that he's always wanted.